welcome to the second part of our trip. We just got to Lagos and it is beautiful. Um, I'll show you our Airbnb later, but let's go look at the water. You guys gotta see what we're going, walking through. If you guys wanna watch the sunset in Lagos, you have to come to this beach. And we'll post it at whatever it is. I don't even remember the name. Oh, oh my god. And this is what we have to. I'm fucking terrified right now. Woo! If you're afraid of heights, which I am actually not, but this is fucking crazy. Ugh. Okay, so we just finished a hike in a really sweaty gross, but of course we're gonna be the ones that go to a Michelin rated restaurant. Sweaty and disgusting and tired <laughs> and sunburned and stinky. We're pretty stinky. Okay. Artistas Restaurante or Restaurante Don Artistas? And we'll see. Yay! Lagos and today we are gonna go find some waves for this guy Tusser and I have no idea where the hell we are but it's pretty pretty amazing super oh, so clear even with this super fogged out the water so clear even with this shitty weather look at this can't even see anything then you walk over here, and there's another little cove. And now we're gonna walk over there. So we made it to Tunnel, and it is foggy as hell. This guy is sort of bummed, but. There seems to be a wave out here once the fog burns off. So in the meantime, we're gonna have a little picnic. We've got some aubergine dip, which is like eggplant. This looks like some sort of manchego, but I'm not sure. I think that's a good sign. And this is what I'm very excited about, marinated cheese. And then we've got these little French exits, prosciutto butter deliciousness so we gonna dig in we're gonna wait for this fog to burn off you should probably see behind me lots of surfers on this beach the myth the man the legend the end of the world fog just wax it up Got my setup, even though I probably won't be able to see anything. But we're doing it because we didn't come all this way to not do it. And this is what it looks like when the fog has cleared. It's so pretty.
Actually, I almost died. <laughs> Our legs are so strong. Never been stronger in my life. Never. This is the beef mobanzique, fresh veggies, piri piri chicken. Are you excited? And a good dose of the vino verde. And our new friends. Hi! <laughs> So today we are going east on the Algarve coast and we're going to Lagoa, which is about like 30 minutes east of Lagos. And a bunch of cool stuff and we're very excited. So one word of advice when parking at Praia de Marina? Is that what we're at? At this heart-shaped rock. At the heart-shaped rock. If you see a parking space, grab it. Grab it. Do not try to go closer because you might have a panic attack or hit a car or get run over. Everyone gets wild for parking around here. They're wiling out. It's crazy. We're here. Look at all these cute little Over there is the famous heart-shaped rock and you can see all the boats going out to the caves. We are going to start heading on the little hike and then we'll go down to the water. Hey babe, what do you think? It's awesome. It's a beautiful place. It's Look like at this terrain. This crap, the, the people don't even matter, it's so much terrain. this rock and go to the not so crowded beach. We also might die. But you know, worth it. You can add rock climbing to our list of accomplishments. Jeremy just did a barefoot. Look at this. Praia del Marina? Yeah. And now we are going to do the Benigel Cave. And we might have to swim to it because we didn't run paddle boards or anything. So, just yet. Just yet. But we have dry bags. So, let's do this! So, I take them back. Our rental paddle board. This place is so convenient. It's in front of the Pescador. Benigil. And you just grab it like this. And now we're gonna paddle into the cave. Alright. We got it. And that place is awesome. 25 bucks for or 25 euros for an hour. And you don't have to go with a tour guide. They give you a paddle, a dry bag if you want it. Although Jeremy always travels with his own. And yeah, 
we're about to go into this cave and um, I'm gonna sit on the paddleboard and do nothing. <laughs> so you launch here. Look at this wave. Uh, okay. <laughs> do you see that? Woo! So we just made it into the cave. And I'm halfway to a panic attack. That was definitely the Show scariest the boats, like, shit that I've ever done in my whole life. Show them what it is. These fucking boats are insane. Look at this. They just pull up right into here with the waves crashing and people swimming. Like, that's an offshore boat. That thing should be, like, doing... Look at the next Look one. Look at the next one. And that he's going to come right up in here. You got to fucking paddleboard through all that. But it is really cool. People are losing it on this fucking thing. I mean, that was, like, the scariest thing I've ever... I'm not, like... Look at him. And then there's this other cave back here with all these cool rock formations. We'll walk back there in a second. But, like, full disclosure, I consider myself a pretty adventurous person, but... What the fuck? What did we just do? The water was so cold. Almost died. I don't even want to go back. <laughs> dark to see. So eerie in here. But in all honesty, if Jeremy wasn't the one paddling us, I would definitely be dead. Would not have made it. I can't believe that these people just, it's like a free fall. They're like, oh, I've never swam before. Here's a paddleboard. Yeah. <laughs> all for this. All for this cave. So insane. You guys, I fucking hate my life right now. <laughs> Try. Try. <laughs> Try. 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 We made it all the way from there to here alive because this guy <laughs> paddling my butt. I could do my own course out here. Jeremy Johnston, caveman. Ah! Ah! Oh. Uh -uh. No, thank you. Never again. Never again. <laughs> Say it again? You almost surfed in that cave. <laughs> okay. We made it. <laughs> now I can't help but laugh, but legit. Whew. Whew. I'm glad I survived. <sighs> Alright, let's give you guys a little perspective of the top of the cave. <laughs> Mush brains. The sun rips you apart here. The salt just dehydrates you all over the place. And, and also, it's just so fun that it's hard to like stop going to each. <laughs> stop go, going so can, hard. You can go to like a thousand beaches here. There's there's probably beaches they still haven't even discovered yet. Yeah, it was crazy. Like it never ends. Um, 
in a good way, in the best way possible. It's just, I think we're like, we stayed out till what, like three in the morning last night, which we never do because we're old. But um, yeah, and then today being in the sun all day and almost dying at the caves. <laughs> now we are gonna go eat dinner at um, a really famous restaurant. Kashing, Kashinga. There's one chef. There's and one there's chef. There's two women as the waitresses, and it's amazing looking. It's... There's always a wait, but we have our name in, so we're gonna go get a cocktail, wait for them to call us, then eat all the traditional Portuguese food, and I'll be sure to share with him, with you, with all of us. Dinner tonight. Babe's got my cabrisco. And he's got his Sagres favorite beer. That thing is so good. It's like <clears throat> sugar, lime, mint, vodka. No, no mint. Is there? No. I don't think so. So good. All right. So this place was packed, but the last, uh, we're the last people here. <laughs> So it's one chef that cooks for this whole restaurant. Okay, first course, we've got the vegetable soup with kale, bread, olives, and carrots. Try care, baby. Oh, and vino verde. Is it like a pickle? That's right up your alley. Sweet. Look at this. The grilled sea bass and the seafood cataplan. All the stuff. Okay, so this was definitely the best restaurant we've eaten at in Portugal completely, right? So far. Um Casinha de Pesco. No, Casinha do Patisco. And wait in line, wait for hours. I mean, it's one o'clock in the morning right now. We're just getting done and no regrets. Actually, I, I cried a little. It's delicious. She's sad. I'm not, I'm just moved by the dish. Moved by dinner. I don't eat seafood very often, but when I do, it's only in Portugal. Well, you don't eat shellfish because of my allergy. You eat fish all the time. We don't eat shellfish very often, but like... He overloaded. These little things. And ruined his shirt. We're worth every minute. Y'all. Best meal. Ever. So it's our last day in the Algarve, and I realized I never showed you our apartment. It's pretty cool. It's a three-story place called the Chimney House, and it's on Airbnb and all the booking sites, um, although I did it on my credit card points, which is awesome. I should probably do a blog post about that, um, but I'll give you a tour real quick. The house itself is really cool. The management behind it, maybe not so much. Um, you can read about it more in the blog post. I don't want to put them on blast, but Just it ended up being good, right, Ben? Yeah, we had a great time. It was pretty loud here in the city, but but that's one of the one of the issues of staying downtown in the party center. <laughs> um, okay, let's do this. So this is the third story, a little futon, and a beautiful view, and some slightly dead plants. You walk in. And there's this giant spiral staircase that goes all the way to the bottom. Let's go to the second floor. So here's our bedroom. Queen size bed, pretty firm, but not terrible. And then we've got these weird branches. <laughs> and out here, you can see that we're located right on the street so there's no AC here so you actually need to open this window and the upstairs door 
and it'll create like a really nice breeze, which is very importante here. So from here, we walk to the bathroom. Love all the tile work. We had a bidet and a toilet. And let's see if I can fit in here. Had some stuff in there, but I don't know what any of it is, so we didn't use it. But yeah, pretty cute. And it has a bunch of Angola art, which I'm guessing the owners have some heritage. So we walk down the stairs into the living room, which is full of our stuff because we're about to load up the car. But it's got this funny little hot tub couch. Let me see if I can turn on some lights. This is the view from the outside. This is the street. Right there is the entrance to the city center or the centro. Here's that weird little couch I was talking about. And then it has a bike, which I don't think anyone can use unless you're crazy, because the hills are insane. And then I love the kitchen. Look at this tile. So cute. It came with a little cheese. Well, I made a cheese board, but have a cutting board for cheese. How cute. Tiny little fridge, didn't really keep anything cold, but we didn't use it, so that's okay. Look at how cute that little stove is. And then this is the downstairs porch. And it's got a lot of little succulents, which I love. And it's really dry here, so I guess I need to water them. I should probably water them before we leave. But yeah, that's our, that's our chimney house. And it was really cute. And I would kind of recommend staying here if you had to, but maybe splurge to go somewhere else. So we are done with Lagos and the Algarve, and now the car is loaded up, and we are headed to Paniche to get some sweet waves. Paniche? Paniche? I think it's actually just Paniche, but. We're going to Super Tuos. Super Tuos. And it's so cute. So we got like a drive ahead of us but there's lots of good European snacks so we'll be fine. Okay see you soon!